Hey, it's a great life presents. How to completely eliminate your approach anxiety. Most guys suffer from this. You see a beautiful, single girl. And even though you have an incredibly strong desire to go talk to her, you don't. But the amazing thing is that there is absolutely no logical reason for approach anxiety to even exist in the first place. First of all you have to realize that women actually want to meet you. In this video you will learn proven methods to eliminate your fear of approaching beautiful women. Make sure to stick around to the end to learn my number one secret to destroy, once and for all, approach anxiety. Number one, out of my league. Some ladies are just breathtakingly beautiful, much more appealing than you perceive yourself to be. But, and bear with me here, what's the big deal? She must have spent hours perfecting her makeup, hair, and clothing. She's gone to great lengths to make her eyes pop, her lips pucker, her skin shine, and her body gorgeous. This girl is putting on her best front, and her true self may not be out of your league, after all. Furthermore, what lies under her skin may be very unpleasant, she could be unintelligent, impolite, or arrogant. So how do you know she's over your pay grade? Instead of thinking she's flawless because she seems it from across the room, go examine her appearance, personality up close. Number 2. Don't put her on a pedestal. Putting beautiful women on a pedestal is another factor that prevents males from approaching a lady they admire. Something known as, a halo effect, is often to blame. He'll think everything about her and her life is great just because she's attractive. But assuming a girl's life is great simply because she's beautiful is ridiculous. Regardless of how they seem, everyone has faults, anxieties, worries, and difficulties in their lives. Keep that in mind, and you'll find it simpler to connect with these, flawless, ladies. Number 3. It's all an illusion. So many of the worries that arise in a man's mind when considering how to approach a lady he desires are unfounded. Guys have these myths and ideas that if they approach a lady, everything would fall apart. She'll lose her cool, or become ice cold, embarrass him, and everyone will point and laugh at him, making him feel like a loser. The girl will then spend the rest of her life recalling that jerk who had the audacity to approach her at a bar and try to strike up a conversation. The dread of rejection, on the other hand, is much worse than rejection itself. Do you know what occurs when a female rejects your advances? Nothing. There isn't a single thing. The world continues to revolve, and everyone just goes on. After all, it's not like women despise being approached. It boosts their ego, or are trying to humiliate males. In reality, the overwhelming majority of women will go to great lengths to avoid seeming cold or harsh. Number 4. Rejection is just a feeling. It only exists in the mind. When males who are just learning how to approach beautiful women are rejected, it is common for them to take it personally. They believe that rejection reflects their worth as a human. And the fact that the girl didn't offer him her phone number implies that he isn't good enough for beautiful women. However, rejection isn't a personal matter. What exactly is it that a lady rejects after your first approach? She isn't rejecting you since she doesn't even know who you are. She's just rejecting the strategy. And the majority of the time, the reasons for her rejection have nothing to do with you. Other variables, such as her mood and background, play a role. You have very little possibility of igniting attraction with a lady who is in a bad mood. If she's at a pub where everyone she's met is lame and corny, she may lump you in with them, before you even say anything. Just because you're in the same place. The truth is that there are a million reasons why a lady may reject a man that have nothing to do with him and everything to do with her. Number 5. Women are very picky. Now, yes, ladies are selective, and I'll tell you that straight out. However, I don't believe this is a terrible thing. But let me ask you this. Why aren't you picky also? Obviously, you believe she's beautiful enough for you, but is she also intelligent? Does she have a sufficient humor? Is she clinging or insecure? In a nutshell, is this gal worth your time? If she isn't, be choosy and look for a relationship elsewhere. Number 6. People will notice if I get rejected. This one's really easy, and really common, to think, but I promise, it's not true. No matter where you are, almost every girl is thinking about her own attractiveness, how her hair looks, if her bra straps are showing, if she has leg fat, if her posture is bad, or she's intently focusing on what she's doing, 
eating, working, talking on the phone, shopping, running, etc. And every other guy is concentrating on the girls, think about it. This is what you're usually doing, right? Basically, everyone is wrapped up in themselves and their own goals of meeting people, and no one is concentrating on you, so don't let that fear stop you from acting. Number 7. I've already failed so many times. Look. Finding those real, valuable connections with women is hard. You'll have to weed through a lot of subpar connections before finding a real one. So in the past, you haven't failed to meet women, you just haven't made a good connection yet. But you absolutely will. Number 8. Know what to say to a girl. You'll always fail no matter how many ladies you approach if you don't know what to say to them. There are many subjects to discuss with a female, but here are a handful that are usually a good bet. The things that are going on around you. Be aware of your surroundings and engage in conversation about the fascinating and unusual events going on around you. You're in an interesting place. Learn about the history of the locations you visit and wow the ladies with your expertise. To encourage her to laugh, think up something stupid and funny. This property is haunted by old lady Agatha and her 14 cats, for example. That explains why it always smells faintly of kitty litter. Maybe you have an unusual talent. Tell her about and show a unique talent that isn't too strange, like a cool card trick. You're her evening's entertainment, make an impression. Basically, everyone is wrapped up in themselves and their own goals of meeting people, and no one is concentrating on you, so don't let that fear stop you from acting. It's a good strategy to come up with a list of questions to ask a girl. It will help to keep her interested and the conversation flowing. People, in general, love talking about themselves. Ask her, have you tried the specialty food or beverage? This is a devious method of purchasing a drink for her. If she says no she hasn't, go ahead and buy her one. Don't ask if you can, just do it while you're talking with her. If she replies yes, tell her she seems to be in need of another one and purchase her one. Make it easy for yourself. Try to give her a compliment. When it's the first thing you say to a female, a grin and a compliment may go a long way. All praises for females are fair game as long as you're genuine. Pick an article of clothing for example. Say something like, oh wow, that dress is really flattering on you. The more enthusiastic the better, but if you're not the enthusiastic type, tell her in whatever tone suits you best. Number 9. This is really empowering. If a connection doesn't work out, give up quickly. Simply said, keep moving forward. Thank her for her time, and then walk away. These crucial relationships you're attempting to form with women shouldn't need effort, worry, or sweat. They should be simple and enjoyable. Knowing that you have the option to leave should also help you feel less anxious. Basically, everyone is wrapped up in themselves and their own goals of meeting people, and no one is concentrating on you, so don't let that fear stop you from acting. It's a good strategy to come up with a list of questions to ask a girl. It will help to keep her interested and the conversation flowing. People, in general, love talking about themselves. Ask her, have you tried the specialty food or beverage? This is a devious method of purchasing a drink for her. If she says no she hasn't, go ahead and buy her one. Don't ask if you can, just do it while you're talking with her. If she replies yes, tell her she seems to be in need of another one and purchase her one. Make it easy for yourself. I realize it's tough to walk away from a girl who is already speaking to you. What if another female never wants to speak to you again? However, examine the facts. There are 3.5 billion women on the planet. You may not meet another nice girl tonight, but, trust me, you will. Plus, nothing compares to the feeling of being able to walk away from a gorgeous lady because you believe you are better than her. Bonus! If you're the one who thinks she's not good enough for you, it's hard to feel rejected. Why do you need to change your approach's goal? One major flaw with typical approach methods is that they force you to speak to females with whom you have no genuine connection. Consider the following. The connection between you will be natural and simple if you discover women that share personality characteristics with you. You won't have to convince her to keep talking to you, she'll want to. On the other hand, if you spend hours attempting to pick up or converse with totally random females whose personalities do not resonate with yours, everyone's time is wasted and you walk home dejected. Traditional anxiety approaches won't help you. 
Isolated activities are the most common strategies for dealing with anxiety, as an example. Every day, say hi to 10 new people. In a pub, strike up a discussion with 5 females. Practice on ladies who aren't as beautiful. Work your way up to the sexiest female and have a 5-minute conversation with her. And a slew of additional objectives that have nothing to do with bonding with a lady. Goals result in exhausting, ineffective connections. What if you had a connection with the first woman but moved on too quickly? What if you squandered an hour on the second and failed to make a connection on the third? And wasting a whole evening with ladies you don't like would just give you a brief feeling of achievement, followed by a lonely night at home. Does a passionate night with a lady who wants to see you again seem better to you? Number 10. If you've watched this far, here is my best secret that has helped many men defeat approach anxiety. Listen carefully. Detach from the outcome. If you listen to most pickup gurus or experts they mistakenly advise men to simply do more attempts and approaches. I believe this is totally false. The best way to overcome your approach anxiety with attractive girls you want to meet, is simply by detaching yourself from the outcome. Because approaching and connecting is almost entirely outcome dependent, you will keep experiencing approach anxiety with every sexy girl you encounter. The best way to overcome your approach anxiety for now and the future is to completely free yourself from dependency on the outcome. Guys will often get worked up thinking they need a certain outcome with a woman. They think they need a phone number, a date, a makeout session, or whatever else in order to feel good about their approach. If they don't get that validation, they feel like a failure. But it doesn't make any sense to view approaching women this way. After all you know nothing about the girl. Behind that pretty face she could be an absolute disaster and a nightmare to be around. Not getting that number could be the best thing that could have happened to you. When guys start learning how to approach girls without fear and get more experience, most realize that there is more than enough satisfaction to be gained simply by making the approach. Think about it. Have you ever approached a girl or asked a girl out and even though she said no, you didn't care? You were just pumped that you had the courage to go for it? That feeling of power and excitement is available to you every time you see an attractive woman. All you've got to do is go up and express yourself authentically and more often than not you'll walk away feeling like a champion, regardless of how she reacts, just for having the courage to do it. Stop contemplating and start acting. Overthinking and overplanning are the most common causes of approach anxiety. So, rather than learning more about how to do it, it's time to go out there and start conversing with attractive ladies. Keep things simple, and keep in mind that the more you do it, the simpler it will become. Because approaching attractive ladies is a talent that can be honed. So go out there and grab the attention of a beautiful lady while overcoming your anxieties. I hope you found this video helpful. If you felt you got some value hit the like button. Subscribe and check out more interesting videos on my channel. See you in the next video.